What is tech sales? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about tech sales. We're gonna talk about the definition of what tech sales is, the types of tech sales companies that are out, roles available in tech sales, the necessary skills that you need for these roles, and the overall career opportunities that are available right now in tech sales. I got five minutes. Let's get into it. This work. I'm gonna get, get this work. work. Be ready this to work. get this work. Get this work. Can you get this work? Get this work. work. Let's break down the first thing: the definition of tech sales. And it's relatively simple. I don't want to oversimplify this. It's selling technological products to potential customers. It includes everything from identifying the potential customer, creating pitches and presentations for potential customers, closing the deals on these potential customers, and last but not least keeping these potential customers at your organization as customers. Now, for the most part, it's three different types, three different types of tech companies that sell hardware technology sales, software technology sales, and service technology sales. Hardware sales involves physical computers such as laptops and printers. Software sales include selling software products such as operating system or productivity software. Service sales includes selling technical support, maintenance, and consulting services. You need some examples? So example of like a hardware company could be like Apple. They actually sell computers. They sell phones. Software services can include something like Spotify or Pinterest. And an easy example of a service sale could be like a virtual assistant or a resume writing service. Now the types of roles available in the tech sales sphere include roles like a business development rep or a sales development rep. Depending on where you go, one is responsible for going out and getting new business that has never heard of the company. The other is responsible for going out and cultivating the business that reaches out to the company. Then you got account executives. They're responsible for, for taking the leads from the BDRs and SDR and trying to close that business as an account executive. And then lastly, you got customer success who after account executives close the business, they're responsible for cultivating the relationship and trying to grow the relationship to either spend more money or stay a customer longer. All four are, again, responsible for building a relationship and helping the company grow. So now what are some of the necessary skills that you need for all four roles to succeed? First, let me tell you what you don't need. You don't need a college degree. You don't need a whole bunch of technical knowledge to get in the role. They're more than likely going to train you at whatever company you get hired at. You're going to go through 90 days of training and they're going to teach you all the technical things you need to know. Biggest must-haves, effectively being able to communicate and interpersonal skills, being somewhat near a people person or at least liking people, liking to build relationships. Of course, industry knowledge, staying up to date on the latest trends is always helpful. But at the end of the day, your brand is what gets you the job at these organizations and your brand will help you succeed at these organizations. How many career opportunities available in tech sales? A lot of them. I got companies blowing me up every day saying we can't find enough talent. Go to LinkedIn and type in BDR jobs, SDR jobs, account executive jobs, customer success jobs. If you type any of those things in the job search on LinkedIn, you will find thousands, thousands of open jobs. One last thing I forgot to mention. It's the reason why tech sales is a thing. So if you go into a store like Best Buy and you're going to buy a TV, Buying one TV doesn't necessarily require a person to build a relationship with you. You go in and you just buying, you're buying a TV. But in business to business sales, which majority of the companies that I'm talking about are focused on, if I'm going into Best Buy and I spend hundred thousand dollars on TVs, I'm going to need somebody to help me to walk me through to build a relationship. The majority of the types of deals that tech companies are hiring for involve somebody that's willing to cultivate relationships because the buyer is probably going to be dropping at least 10,000 or more, which is why building a relationship is so important. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. You will see how I'm helping everyday people to land jobs and tech sales and get this work.